Two, one. All right, uh, welcome back to Morning Live. This is the third and the final hour, of course, of the show as we're still coming to you live from Olivenhays uh, Museum here in uh, Bloemfontein. I just want to show you some of the peaks and artworks that are here. And Brenton, the project manager, is still with me and he'll take us through each and every one that we can get through. Brenton, let's start with this one. That's the one from Stan John Lutuli. Um, yes, this is an artwork by Stenjuwen Tully, and the reason we chose it is because of its vibrancy, because of its colour, because of the way that the artist uses wood and carves into wood in a sort of traditional wood carving kind of oh, way. Oh, so this is wood? This is wood, it's super wood, yeah. We try not to touch the artwork. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and uh, he's incorporated paint, and what he does is he looks at traditional Zulu rituals, in this case dance, and then incorporates them, incorporates different elements like Eastern elements into them to show what contemporary is the life for him, life for him is like. All right. Come on, skate for now. The following day, and uh, that's the one by um, Tibeleza. Yes. Yes, um, the, we chose this painting firstly because of its intense colour and the light that emanates from it and also because in an interesting way it shows a painting within a painting within a painting so it's seen as a self-portrait of the artist and the artist's environment. Right, well, and I'm told that the artist recently won an award for the newcomer of the year. Yes. Beautiful maybe. start. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's move to the next one. Are these fingerprints or is it faces? Faces, yeah. This is a young artist called Ilene Botma, who was born in Port Elizabeth and lives in Cape Town. And we chose this work because of its really detailed use of glue and paint and ink. So the works that you see, these portraits, are actually fashioned out of glue and then painted over so it gives this textural feel to the works. I find them very ghostly, they could stand for anybody and she uses kind of common materials like doilies and tablecloths and lace and so on and clads these faces in them. So it's actually a sculpture more than a painting. God, talk about innovation, isn't it? All right, and the next one, the second last one in fact. Okay, let's talk about this uh, from Stembi Zwani. Um, this is a really interesting artist, also from KZN, um, and most of his work stems from the work that he does with his grandfather, um, who owns a taxi in Durban. And he spends a number of holidays working with his grandfather, photographing people in the taxis, and then reproducing these photographs um, as prints that he does at the Artist Proof Studios in Johannesburg. Wow, interesting. So you can turn anything that happens in your life into art. That's what happens, that's what artists do. Beautiful one here. One of those that actually attracted my eyes when I walked in here. This is a very interesting artist, Jeanette Unite, and she's been working for a number of years gathering minerals and materials and fluids and chemicals and elements from mining industries. So she goes into mines, literally collects the materials, grounds them up, makes her own pigments, mixes them with paint, and then creates these, what essentially is a very critical analysis of the mining industry in the country. Really? Oh, okay. Now, finally, there are wood sculptures or wooden sculptures that are there. I want you to take us through um, those, uh, those sculptures. Okay, or should we talk about this one first? All right, I'm told this is the final one that we need to pay attention to. And uh, this one from Amita. This is one of my favorite artists, actually, Amita Makan. I've been working with her for years. Um, she's a young Indian artist from Port Elizabeth. Um, and she's recently turned her artistic hand to embroidery. Um, and she embroidered, she did a portrait of her mother, which I remember from years ago, this very detailed, intensely embroidered portrait of her mother. And that set her off on a path of embroidery. And this is one of the recent series that she's been doing with butterflies in the Kalahari, endangered butterflies. Wow, beautiful. Well, Brenton, I want us to talk about the wooden, uh, the wooden sculptures, but just before we do that, um, we need to go back to our studios in uh, Johannesburg for the final update of New Zealand Morning Life. Vey, it's over to you.